Well, we got a great one on Saturday, and I'm going to be calling it. Cannot wait to get up onto the Palouse. Washington State hosts the Utah Utes. And we got you covered literally in every element of this ballgame because the pregame show starts at 2 o'clock on the Pac-12 Network with Ashley Adamson and company. So looking forward to joining that. Now, about this ballgame, there's a lot of things that I think you want to look forward to. Number one, the Utes go on the road against a team they've struggled playing against. They've lost the last three times against Wazoo. Now, granted, they had a little two-year gap where they didn't play the Cougs due to the Pac-12 scheduling system, but overall, the Cougs and Mike Leach have had their numbers. So, what does Utah need to do? Well, offensively, first and foremost, they need to pitch and catch. They have 15 drops right now at this point in the season. They only played three games because of a bye week heading into this ball game. So I'm looking forward to watching the receiving core step up. I had a chance to talk to Britton Covey earlier this week, and he said, look, we're getting out. We're working the jug machine. We're really looking forward to showing who we are on the field against a very athletic Washington State defense. And on the flip side, we got Gardner Minshew, one of the top quarterbacks in all of college football right now in terms of getting the ball in space and hitting spots. This guy is working the game in between the hashes right now, and this will be, I believe, his most difficult test. Going up against an elite secondary, can Gardner Minshew, can Wazoo move the football consistency against Kyle Whittingham? But we'll find out. This one kicks off with the pregame show at 2 and the game with Ted Robinson, Jill Savage, and myself at 3 o'clock Pacific.